WhatsApp automation for e-commerce using Wati WhatsApp marketing software. In this video, I'm going to give you seven simple yet powerful WhatsApp automation that you can implement on your e-commerce store right after watching this video. It's going to be very, very simple step by step video. So please stay till the end. Don't skip in between. It's going to be super useful. So without further ado, let's start the show. My name is Anthony and I'm the founder of Alpha Marketer. Today we are entering episode number 16 of the conversational marketing show. This is your go-to show to become a conversational marketing expert and turn those conversations into conversions. Now, let's look at the seven automations that you're going to implement today. So a quick overview of them. Number one will be the card abandonment messages using WhatsApp. Very, very powerful automation. You know, abandoned cards, uh, a big problem for most e-commerce companies. With this automation, we have seen that we are able to recover close to 35 to 38% of the cards abandoned using WhatsApp. Okay, so it can generate revenue for your business right after implementation very powerful with very simple automation that you can implement number two order confirmation messages using whatsapp normally implemented as an email or as an sms now you can also do with whatsapp very powerful to start a conversation with your customers then you can do shipping notifications you know take out people's anxiety with you know timely intervention and informing them about the shipping details okay then comes your order shipment and tracking URL uh, messages using WhatsApp. Very powerful. Again, it will help you reduce a lot of customer service queries uh, and, and make the post purchase experience better. Okay, and then we can also uh, you know, send the order delivered messages using WhatsApp and post purchase feedback after purchase. Maybe you can have a kind of an automation where after 10 days, 15 days after delivery of the product, you can send an automatic message collecting feedback about the product. Okay, then return an exchange request in case a customer is asking for a re refund or return. In that case, once the refund is processed, you can send a custom message to be sent on WhatsApp. So super powerful yet very simple automations. I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, step number one, you should have a verified Facebook or Meta business manager very simple process all you have to do is log into your facebook or meta business manager uh, under the business settings there will be a small tab called security settings or security center click on that then you will see the uh, business verification button out there click on the button then facebook will ask you for some documents your company documents uh, you have to upload them basically scan them or take a picture of them and upload them just to verify the address proof and your brand name all these things are matching right some government id cards will also be asked in case for verification okay just upload those very simple process if all the you know information is matching then your business will be verified on facebook business manager okay that is step number one now let's look at step number two so step number two you need a whatsapp marketing software now there are so many whatsapp marketing softwares out there but my personal preference is wati because i am a big fan of the software i'm using it for my business and for my clients and it is super useful super simple to use and very very effective okay just in case if you are looking for a whatsapp marketing software for your business then do give wati a try it's a very simple yet powerful software you can use my affiliate link. It is link.alphamarketer.in slash Wati. I'll also give this link in the description of the video. Please do check it out. If you buy through this link, I might get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Now let's look at step number three. So step number three is you have to apply for a WhatsApp business API. Quick recap, we have done three steps so far. Step number one, we got our Facebook business manager verified. Step number two, we got a WhatsApp marketing software, preferably Wati. Step number three, we are going to apply for the WhatsApp API. Now, how do we apply for the WhatsApp API? 
I have done a detailed step-by-step -step instruction video on my YouTube channel. You can go and check that video. The link will be uh, in the description. Do check that out. Okay, very simple process. You need to have a brand new phone number and then follow some so simple steps and within a matter of say two to three days max you should get your api approved okay next step number four after we finish all the three steps next we need a e-commerce platform so preferably in this case a shopify uh, e-commerce platform or a woocommerce uh, e-commerce platform you can even have a custom uh, website but uh, for this example i'm gonna keep shopify or woocommerce okay and lastly you need a Wati shopify plugin okay so if you are using a shopify store then there is a shopify plugin for Wati. okay just open the shopify app store and then do a search for Wati. you will get the Wati, um you know whatsapp marketing software plugin there so you have to also install this plugin so two things you have to have a whatsapp marketing software account that's primary once you have that then you can install the wati plugin for shopify okay two things you have to do and then you are all set so now what i'll do is i will log into shopify and i'll show you exactly how we are going to set up all these seven simple yet powerful automations okay let's get started so here i am inside the shopify interface now inside your shopify store there will be a tab called apps click on it and here i have already installed the wati plugin so it's already there click on it it will open a page like this so this is where you can set up all the seven automations that i discussed in this video okay so first of all you have to understand that all these seven automations means we are going to send seven different types of messages to the customer okay so we are going to send the message it's going to be an outbound message which means if as a business we are initiating the conversation with the customer then those messages need to be approved by whatsapp okay so what you have to do is you have to create a template and mention the message and you have to submit for approval okay so the exact process as to how to create a template message and how to get it approved i have done a separate video about this the link of that video will be in the description do check that out okay so all this automations required an approved template message okay so uh, let's assume in this case we have done that work we have created the template message and we have gotten it approved by whatsapp okay now once the template messages are approved let's start configuring the automation okay so first thing is your abandoned cart recovery message okay this is where you make the most amount of money uh, with whatsapp okay so you have two options enable disable so naturally you'll go and enable and then here you can see the template messages okay there are so many templates that we have uh, approved already by uh, whatsapp so in this case select the uh, abandoned cart template message okay so the information will be very uh, very simple it will say that it will call out the customer's name and then tell them that they have forgotten to complete the purchase and uh, tell them that you know what uh, the products are in high demand so it might run out of stock anytime uh, why not you go and complete the purchase and then give the checkout link okay checkout link this is the most powerful part okay since what he has the integration with shopify what he will be able to you know uh, retrieve the exact checkout url okay the checkout url with all the pre-filled information okay so exactly the stage where the customer left the customer would have filled the name email phone number address everything and the last minute he would have he or she would have left the cart okay so when they click on this link they need not fill the whole you know information again okay it will be a pre-filled link so that the customer experience is very very seamless within one click they can click and complete the purchase okay so that's the power of you know this wati plus shopify integration okay and here you can even configure uh, after how many minutes you want to send this message okay do you want to send it uh, after one minute 10 minutes 20 minutes you can decide okay you can mention the number here okay 
So that is how you, you configure the abandoned cart recovery message. Now, just in case to push the customer a little bit, if you think you want to add a discount coupon also, you can click on this and configure the discount coupon. Okay. That way, abandoned cart can become even more effective when you are offering an exclusive discount for them to complete the purchase. Okay. Then comes the order confirmation message. Again, there are two options, enable, disable, select enable and select the appropriate uh, you know, template message that, that has been approved. Okay. So in this case, I have already configured a message saying order confirmation message, select that. Okay. So you can configure the order confirmation the way you want. Typically, there will be some key informations like it can call out the customer's name. It can mention that the order has been confirmed. You can mention the order ID, order number. You can also mention the order value and you can then, you know, say that the order is confirmed and then moving forward, if they have any questions, they can reach out to you on the same WhatsApp number. Okay. That way the, you know, post purchase experience. Uh, you know goes to the next level okay moving forward whatsapp becomes a single point of communication where they can get all their questions answered okay and furthermore if you want you can even invite them to check your uh, you know whatsapp store okay you can invite them to check your products on whatsapp or you can even give a link to your shopify store okay basically you can start a conversation with your customers with the help of the order confirmation message okay um, again, here also in this case, if you want to add any uh, coupon, if you want to upsell, okay, upsell with the order confirmation message and give a coupon code, even that can be done. Okay. Then comes your uh, order shipment with tracking URL. Uh, so this also that you have an option for enable, disable, same model, click on enable, select the template message for it. And you can even, um, now create a tracking URL for this. Okay. So temporarily I have disabled it, but the, the, it's the same procedure. You can configure the order shipment and tracking URL, uh, within the Shopify interface. Okay. Then order fulfillment is basically once the order has been delivered to the customer. Also, you can send a message, same process. You can enable it, select the, uh, approved template and it will be all set to go live. Okay. Um, same thing like follow up after purchase. Uh, this is where you can send a message like after 15 days of delivery or 20 days of delivery and ask them for feedback. Okay. So the, even that you can confirm. So you can mention like after how many days you can you want to send this message. Okay. And then select the template that you want to send. Okay. So likewise, you can configure the post purchase follow up message also here. Okay. And lastly, the uh, cancellation or return request message in case somebody cancels the product once the cancellation is done you can also send a whatsapp message confirming that and what are the next steps uh, for the customer okay so once you have configured all these uh, seven automations here you can click on save changes okay once it is done everything is automated and you don't have to worry what he will take care of all these seven uh, different automations okay and it will it will also have an analytics um, so we have an analytics tab here where you can see what is happening uh, in terms of the recoveries or the you know revenue generated using this uh, automations okay so you can already see that you no know, there is a 40 percent abandoned card recovery happening uh, with this simple automation. Okay. So please go ahead and implement these seven automations on your e-commerce store and let me know how it goes. Just in case, if you need help in implementing WhatsApp marketing automation and the entire suite of WhatsApp marketing, uh, playbooks for your business, you can hire us. Um, so we are a WhatsApp marketing agency. And to hire us, uh, it's a very simple process. Just go to this link alpha marketer.in slash chat. And if you do that, you'll be welcomed by my WhatsApp chat bot. It will guide you through the whole process as how you can hire us and how we can work together. Now, just in case, if you want to learn WhatsApp marketing from us to implement WhatsApp marketing for your business or for implementing it for a client, if just in case, if you're a freelancer or you're an agency owner and you want to uh, give WhatsApp marketing services to clients. Then also 
you can go to this link alpha marketer.in slash chat where you'll be welcomed by my chatbot it will guide you through the whole process to join my uh, coaching and mentorship program okay so currently there's a wait list going on you can join the wait list when the program opens up you can join the program and learn whatsapp marketing from us so i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel it will greatly greatly motivate me to create more and more videos and help entrepreneurs like you to uh, grow with whatsapp marketing thank you so much until next time see you bye bye